Krista Scott, there's two of them right there, used to love coming to the Socorro Park. When I was super little, I would run up all the ramps here. Until she started finding these. I found one. It's kind of buried. The 11 year old knew right away what they were. This is the biggest place there are some. And what she needed to do with them. I ran to my dad and told him, and he's, I told him we had to do something about this. You don't know who used them or what they put in it, and a kid, if they got it stabbed even in their foot, they can get super sick with it. Her father was so impressed, so he called the director of the county substance abuse programs, Teresa Rivera. I said, you know what, let's do it. Together, they launched Krista's project. So this is how it works. Say you find a bunch of needles just like this. What you would do is call a new 24-hour hotline. That's when volunteers will come and pick it up immediately. They've since found about 100 needles in the last month and a half. We found them on the slides of the parks. Um, we have found them in the gardens over at the local youth center. Knowing all too well, there's plenty more out there. In fact, just this morning, a deputy found this huge bag of needles dumped in an open field. Rivera knows this program will save lives. Oh, there's hep C, there's HIV, there's AIDS, things like that that we have to be concerned about. None up here. Krista today searched high. <laughs> and low. It kind of looks like a purse, but a like a little wallet. Helping to find 12 needles just in this city park. She hopes other communities think about creating a similar program before someone gets hurt. There's lots. In Socorro, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.